so you can't go to the gym every day, huh? I understand, bro. I've been there. I used to be 110 pounds, weak and frail. I had nothing to show for myself. When I first started going to the gym, I would go really consistent. I'd go pretty consistent, I'd say four to six times a week. And then sometimes I would find myself at minor inconveniences, like, oh, I don't have a way to get there. I don't wanna walk. I'm a lazy piece of shit, right? There's always something, but in reality, majority of the time, you can go there. You just don't want it that bad. But so let's just imagine that you can't go for whatever reason. You can go two times a week, two out of the seven days, which honestly isn't that good. I'm not going to lie. You could do better than that. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep it real simple for you, boys. If you're in a situation where you can only go to the gym very few times out of the week, prioritize your legs for the gym and focus your at-home workouts for upper body. Do you understand me, bro? All I ask is a $15 investment in a pull-up bar. If you can invest $15 in yourself, you will be saved, I'm telling you. And let me explain why. When I first started working out, I was mainly doing calisthenic movements, body weight exercises like push-ups, pull-ups, my like planks. And honestly, that's all I really needed. And here's why. When you do your pull-ups, it works out your back, your forearms as well. When you do chin-ups which is the opposite grip works out your biceps that's fantastic i'm already working out two to three muscles right push-ups chest and tricep depending on what your stance is oh i'm gonna go so into depth i am excited to make these videos for you guys because there's so much knowledge that you need to acquire to become the best i will make sure you guys transform i promise you that I'm excited for you guys because I've been there. I've been there. It took me a while to get this knowledge, but I've been there. Listen, wide grip, wide grip, wide stance, wide stance push-ups gets your chest good. Think of it as like a bench press, getting that nice stretch on your chest. Oh my gosh. You're going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? The more closer you go, the more tricep dominant. That's why some people like to do close grip bench press to more dominant on your triceps. Blows that shit up like it's crazy. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's pretty tough too, especially if you don't have developed triceps. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. If you're a hard gainer, doing push-ups are probably going to be easy for you because you're lightweight. You know, I know what it's like. 100 to 200 push-ups a day since 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 you can't go to the gym right what's your excuse tell me drop a comment down below let me know what your excuse is all right one to 200 push-ups obviously not in a row don't do it in a row unless you can kudos to you you're superman all right respect when i first started doing push-ups i could do maybe 15 at once i, I had a decent head start i think but 15 per set keep doing that now you don't have to do it all in one go like i said do 100 to 200 within the day so i wake up i do five sets of 15 i already did 75 push-ups mm, eat some eat some breakfast or lunch whatever right if you're at school you can you could do some push-ups somewhere there's no shame in doing push-ups in public if anything, I have respect for you for that, because, dude, nobody fucking works out. Like, come on. If they laugh at you, hmm, can't wait to see them in five years. Like, let's be real, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> shit is crazy. Shit, shit is crazy out here. Nah. But, but, but don't be ashamed of working out, trust me. Right? You could do some push-ups at home, do another five sets, 
of 15, you're already at 150. You got 50 more push-ups to go. Bro, come on, bro. You already did three-fourths of it. You could do the last 50. Not too hard, right? Let me know if it's actually hard for you guys, and I'll, and I'll figure something out for you. But let's keep it real, you know? You're doing 100, 200 push-ups a day. At first, you can only do 15 per set. Before you know it, you're at 30. You're a hard gainer. If you're eating your food, like if you're working out, doing those push-ups, doing those pull-ups, you're working hard, and you're eating the right amount of food, you're getting the right nutrition, bro, you're going to go from 15 to 30 before you fucking know it. Because when you first start working out, when you first start building that muscle, it is so easy to gain it. But only if you're eating. I missed out on a lot of potential in my window because I started lifting hard. I started lifting heavy doing all the push-ups I can without understanding that I had to eat, 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 I had to pick up that fork, drink that shake, and fucking eat. I didn't know that. That was my mistake. So, I had to learn the hard way. But this video's for you, bro. If you made it this far, kudos to you. Because so many people have that short attention span of scrolling on TikTok, Instagram reels, YouTube shorts. They can't even watch a full video that will change their whole life. So if you made it this far, I got respect for you, bro. You got potential. You really have potential because attention span will take you far. I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm make a video on that. Good for you, bro. Do those push-ups. I'm telling you, if you can't invest in a pull-up bar, it's okay. Start off with the push-ups. It's better to walk slowly than to stay stagnant or move backwards. All right, bro? Don't ever forget that. I'm going to say it again to you. It is always better to walk slowly than to stay stagnant or move backwards. All right? So if all you have is your body, do some push-ups. If you literally cannot go to the gym, do your push-ups. Do some body weight squats. Do some squats. You don't need a barbell and weight to do squats. All right, bro? But you're going to have to do a lot of squats. It's going to help you out, though. There's no harm in doing it. You're only looking out for yourself at the end of the day. So don't forget those two. Uh, let, me, let me see if there's anything else for you guys. Because, you know, it's funny. Because I remember I would do dips. Like, uh, all right, imagine this. You have a bathtub. You put your you put your palms on the on the edge of the bathtub and you're doing like dips like that. I remember doing that before I went in the shower. Yo, those were the days. Oh my gosh, I'm like getting memories now. I would do it until I couldn't, and like I can't really tell if it was as significant, but I would feel some burn in my triceps. And if I hadn't done those in the beginning, I probably wouldn't have been grown to love my tricep days because it is ridiculous these workouts be ridiculous like when i when i come back from my vacation i am going to go crazy in the gym i'm excited i'm excited man if you have access to the gym take advantage of that shit because I, I can't go to the gym here and I, I i forgot i forgot what it was like to be restricted like this it's crazy you know i got my i got my jump rope so i have something to do like th this video is for me as well I'm doing my push-ups. I don't have pull-ups, but I got some jump rope. Pretty dope, right? Just started doing that stuff. I want to. I want to I get good at that stuff because it really helps with your endurance. So definitely keep that in mind, bro. Push-ups, pull-ups, hit some legs at the gym, or do some body weight squats, and you'll be good. I'm not saying that's gonna get you jacked, but it's gonna keep you at a steady progression. You know? I'm telling you, bro. This is the sauce right here. Keep working, boys.